It's been a while since I've rambled on about the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys. I picked up the first waves and really enjoyed them. And, you know, I made fun that they were going to start dressing them up in different, different suits and such, and sure they have. Uh, but so far, Playmates has actually done a pretty good job. Um, the first round was some ooze launching turtles, which I think I just picked up one. I haven't really done much with him. And then the stealth tech. Uh, series came out just recently, and I really like them. They're they're fun. They're they got some neat gear to them, and have some fun playability. So uh, I thought I'd pick up a couple and and play around with them. And here we have Leonardo with his stealth tech swords and his crossbow and uh, flip of visor and repelling line as well. Pretty good figure too. Uh, the crossbow is pressure sensitive, so you kind of just gotta give it a flick or something to to get it to fire. Um, which is kind of neat because sometimes those springs make them too big. Real nice visor. Each turtle has its own unique visor and an own, own unique kind of costume going on. His his toes are open toe. <laughs> and uh, we got a sword carrier pops that off. If you want to do the rappel line, you just simply take, uh, there's a little clip on the line and you just kind of find a good spot to um, clip it in. And uh, then you've got rappel time going. and. You can either repel like so, or you can just pull the string all the way through and hang him and swing him. So a lot of options with that repel line. Really simple. It works really well. I used a ton of kite screen, kite string in my uh, uh, adventures. Here he is, kind of with the uh, first run Leo, and uh, you can see he's decked out in that cool stealth gear. Really looks nice on him. Uh, and. Uh, the Mutant Gen Ooze Leo is also available. And I'm surprised I haven't really opened him or done anything yet with him. Uh, love the Ghostbusters vibes on those. So, that is Leo, and uh, definitely a nice figure as well. And here we have Michelangelo with his Stealth Tech Nunchucks and his audio amplifying gun. Nice headset flip-up visor, and uh, also comes with that repelling line we saw. He's a really nice figure overall. I really like the headset. Looks good. Just simply fits over his head. 
Uh, just like the other turtles, he's got pretty good articulation. His legs feel a little trickier to move um, up by the hip than these uh, original turtles. And the original turtles felt more turtly with a little softer plastic. This guy seems to have a little tougher plastic. Uh, but overall, just a great toy. And the villain, Snake Weed. Uh, nice little toy, villain toy. Uh, pretty big. His legs are actually cut off in the box, so he looks even taller when you open him up and build him. Uh, he's got these great arms with a good reach. Um, they are a little flimsy, but they are nice. A lot of rotation here and there you don't expect. Uh, pop, you can pop off a lot of these vines, except for the ones on the back. Uh, but he was a lot of fun to play with. Totally feels like a Star Trek villain. Um, looks like that guy at the end of credits who used to look at you, that green dude. So that is Snake Weed. Pretty cool toy to get if you want a villain. So that's the Stealth Tech Turtles. There is also a Stealth Tech Donatello and Stealth Tech Raphael out there. Uh, certainly go pick those up if you're into the series. Uh, they're really great toys. Uh, nice. Uh, nice suited up versions of the turtles which is pretty surprising so check them out they're pretty much available anywhere where Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are sold about $7.99, $8.99 somewhere in there look for deals not bad they're well worth it so that is what they are thanks for watching please subscribe to the Squirrel Stampede channel